Lighting is super important in a theatre. It can show us location, time, bring your attention to something, or even create atmosphere. So let's take a little look at what our theatre has to offer. So I've got a scene set in a desert. Okay, what should we do with the lights? Well, let's bring in some yellows and oranges. Let's make it really, really bright because it's the middle of the day. Whack an image on the projector. Fade in some sound effects. And boom! We're in the desert. Is it me or is it hot in here? Woo! Blackout! You see what I did there? Sudden darkness. So now I've got a scene set at the North Pole. Right, well I'm thinking it's cold so I'm going to need some blue lights. Uh, maybe a mixture of pale and dark blues. Yeah, yeah, uh, not too bright though this time. Um, let's whack some projection on. Some sound effects. And voila! <sighs> I wish I brought a coat. It's cold out here. So the lights are controlled by computer and a lighting designer can program them to do pretty much anything that they want to. These are LED lights which can change colour via the computer. They're not enormously bright but they're really easy to use. Then we've got some really bright lights that cover the entire stage. They're called floodlights. And if you want a different colour on them, you can put a gel over the beam. In this case, it's a coloured piece of blue plastic, which changes the light to blue. These are called Fresnels. The S is silent in case you've not noticed. Now these are smaller lights that can uh, light parts of the stage and you can change the size and shape of the beam by opening and closing these flaps which are known as barn doors. And then there's a spotlight. A spotlight is a bright beam of light that is used to draw your attention to something. So if there is a spotlight shining on a thing, you'll know that the director wants you to look at it. But then, if the beam follows you around, it's a follow spot, but you've got to have a lighting technician up in the rafters operating it for you. Hi, Mr. Corrigan. Hello. So let's recap. A floodlight is our brightest light. A Fresnel is smaller and its beam can change shape thanks to its barn doors. LED lights can change colour, but you can change the other light's colours with gel. A spotlight is a bright, small beam used to make something stand out. And if it follows someone about, it's a follow spot. Oh, and don't forget gobos! These are metal shapes that you place over a light to create an interesting shape. Like this. Or this. Or this. Let's try something a little bit more complex. Can you spot the lights that are being used? When a light fades in or out gradually, we call this a fade. But when one light changes into another one gradually, we call this a cross fade. Now, flashing lights, like these, we call them a strobe. But be careful, we can't use them for too long, just in case we've got somebody in the audience who has epilepsy. Remember that lighting is one of the four arms of tech. So with a really cool set, some killer costumes and some amazing sound effects, you can make an audience believe that they are pretty much anywhere. Just like this. Job done. <laughs>